Hi guys, good to see you again. This is the last month of winter and I'm sure you're wondering what we've been up to. Well, we have been working really hard on, on part two of the mushroom and dam projects. We're really looking forward to spring. <laughs> um, have a look at what we've been up to and see what you think. Here's a quick recap of what we were up to back in May. We cleared the bottom of the dam, pulled out all the weeds, threw out all the rocks, got rid of all the rubbish, and then we smothered the surface with this white stuff, this bentonite clay. The theory is that when it rains, the bentonite clay will swell to up to eight times its size and plug any gaps in the bottom of the dam to stop the water from leaking out. I'll put a link in the description to part one of the dam project if you want to go back and watch that. Once this was complete, all we needed was some rain. But by the end of August, we were starting to despair. And then things started to happen. It's the first time we've seen water coming out of our pipe. And running down into our dam. So exciting. So the 10 mil was the day before yesterday. So we're going to 21 overnight last night. Not last night, the night before. 21 two days ago. 21 mils two days ago. And then 10 mil last yesterday. And 10 mil yesterday. By far our wettest week since we've been here. And we got water. Go on, get it out of your systems. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. Oh. It's a bit deeper than you thought, hey? Yeah, her belly's. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to her belly, isn't it? The wet dogs are not cool, but it's so cool. <laughs> Slowly filling up. So finally, in the second last week of August. We have a little trickle. That's what we're talking about. This is like a little kid playing in a creek. That's so, so cool. What we should do is plant a stick somewhere and see how much the level rises. Yeah. Perfect. Keep raining, world. Keep raining. The dam. And I must say, dam, she's filling up. This is the most amount of water we have had in the dam. I would love to have it till the, till the boundary where the leaves are. It's just crazy. Man. We had about 11 mil of water of rainfall. I want to say a bit more than that. But the dam is has never been like that. It is insane. I'm so happy. She's gushing. Let's go have a look. We put a stick over there about two hours ago. Yeah, I reckon that's now almost underwater. Yeah, that's about two hours ago. Yeah, it's about two hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
it's amazing how peaceful it is on this side. She is just flying. I'm so excited. Can't wait to see it in the morning tomorrow. I should put another stick down. We're gonna put it at the edge of the water level. That's where the stick is. And hopefully this keeps running throughout the night. I'm so stoked. Oh well, time to go up to the house and get warm. And the water just kept on flowing. At this point in time, we're pretty happy. We, we feel like we've achieved everything. So we go to bed for the night and see what we wake up to the next morning. The next challenge is to try and hold this water in the dam. Good morning guys. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning and Addy and I are already in our wet weather clothes ready to go down and check out our winter wonderland because we've had one day and night of rain and it's full. <laughs> Let's go check it out, hey? Hey dogs, Pitchfork, you ready for an adventure? Should we go on an adventure? Let's go check the rain gauge. He's back in the water. Doesn't know what he's looking at. Whoa. That's 20 mil. One day and night of rain and we got floodage. Even the overflow pipe is... It's all the way up to the overflow pipe that I never thought it would actually reach. Yeah. Let's go have a closer look. And it's still flowing. Well, what a clever design this little piece of land is, huh? Yeah. We've got floodage on this side, full dam on that side, but we've still got a path we can walk through. And it's still coming out the pipe. You can see where it comes out the pipe underwater there. Oh my god, this is the best day ever. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's go stand on this bridge. Which is actually a bridge with a function now. Before it was just pretty. <gasps> my goodness. We got a creek. This is seriously awesome. Let's follow this. Let's see where it leads. It rained so much last night. A good 20 mil. In fact, our side creek's going as well. I might have to jump over this. Good job, big. Bitch ball, come on, buddy. Good boy. There's water everywhere. And that's the dam. That's where the water was flowing in yesterday and I can't even show you where the stick was because the dam is full. So this is the outlet pipe that I never thought the water level will reach. There it is. Goes under our path. Comes out on the other side. And the water's flowing back out to the creek. Just like it should. Amazing.
<laughs> These guys are loving it. That's a damn fool. One night of rain. It's 11 o'clock a.m. which is I guess four hours after we first came down here this morning and we burst our banks. We've gone up over the outlet pipe and we've now got a creek also flowing off our property. It's freaking amazing. Like amazing. So much water. I actually want to go for a swim <laughs> but I guess we should let it settle down a bit first quick recap on what we were doing with the mushroom project again you can go to the link in the description to watch the first part of the dam and mushroom projects Addie and I are inoculating some pasteurized sugarcane mulch with blue oyster mushroom spawn we're packing it into mushroom bags in the last clip we got to the point where we hung our mushroom bags in our granny flat so that the mycelium can colonise by feeding off the substrate of the sugarcane mulch. We're hoping for a harvest towards the end of August, so let's spend a month checking out how we grow mushrooms. This is the sixth day of the mushroom bags hanging in our little flat, and you can see the white colonisation of the mycelium occurring Today is the 5th of August, so day 7 that we've been in bags. It's August the 7th, day 9 of colonisation. Thank you Pixie for your special comments. It's looking good. Dog. So this is August 15th or day 17 of the mushrooms living in these bags. Within the next couple of days, you're going to move them out? Yep. Shocking. No. Thanks, Peaks, for the special sound effects. Yeah. So yesterday was day 19 of mushrooms. I've moved them out aside into a little plastic greenhouse where they get spritzed each day with water to try and shock them into pinning out of the holes. So stay tuned for that. They've just been sprayed with water. You can see the mushroom starting to pin from the top of that hole. And oh, that one's really good. Look at those guys. They're going to be huge soon. Definitely cut this one. It's actually too big to come out the hole. There's one right next to it, just there. Something's starting to happen. It's the 20th of August, so day 22. We've got a very large colony that's developed inside the plastic bag, so Addie's just removing some of the excess plastic so that we can get the benefit of all those mushrooms and not just the ones that have come out the hole. Just about to check on the mushrooms for today. There they are. Let's see how much difference a day makes.
Don't stand up. Uh, wow. Let's move the ones up here. three days. Mushroom madness. Day 24. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mushroom mania. That was the 25th day of mushroom growth. Is this the morning that we get mushrooms? Maybe. Maybe not. People, their family and friends want to eat mushrooms for a while. They're flattened out, but you can, you can take a couple if you want the rest of It's so pretty. And there we go, our first harvest. I'm going to fry some red onion and some butter. There are mushrooms in there. And serve them up on some homemade toasted bread. Bit of cheese on top and whack them under the grill. Best breakfast ever. Exactly four weeks, 28 days after we packed the mushrooms into bags, we had our first full harvest and took four kilograms of blue oyster mushrooms off of the bags. It's a big one. Yeah, I need another ball as well. So we still got these little ones that can have another big growth? Yeah. We will still get some more growth from this first flush of mushrooms. After that, we'll take plastic bags off, give them a soak, and then they'll have a second flush. I'll put a link in the description to where we order our mushroom spawn from, and it really is that easy. Everyone can do this at home. So there you have it. That's our first mushroom harvest for Seven Virgin Farm. We've discovered a huge patch of wild onions growing on our property. So we've harvested a few of them and we're making a nice simple breakfast of oyster mushrooms, wild onions, soy sauce and soba noodles. It's gonna be delicious. So that was August guys. Amazing, huh? We think so. We've just hit over 100 subscribers, so thank you for your support of our channel. We'll keep bringing you a video every month and try and get more savvy at posting on social media. Make sure that you let us know if there's anything that you'd like to see from us. We cook, we grow, we do all kinds of things. You know, your drill, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. But also, if you've got a question or something that you'd like us to address, feel free to send us an email at sevenvirginfarm at gmail.com and we'll respond. Yep, I'm down here without the dogs. Going to pick myself some wild onions and see how they pickle. And until next time, guys, we'll look forward to seeing you when we've got all our spring planting underway. Cheers. Have a good month.